So in this video, I'll be showing how I made this vacuum pump. So to make the valves over here, I have these syringe caps. In this, I'll be making a hole with this iron nail. So first I'll be heating this and then I'll poke this into the syringe cap to make a hole. You can see that a small hole has been made. Same I will do for the second syringe cap. So to smooth the hole, I'll be rubbing this with some sandpaper. This will smoothen the hole. But this also makes the syringe cap very rough. So a better option is to cut the imperfections with the, a blade and not rub it with a sandpaper. Now I took a pipe balloon and cut short sleeves from it. And put the sleeves onto the caps covering the hole. Our one way valves are ready. Now I took a 25 ml syringe to cut its plunger and using a poker I made a hole in the front of the syringe as well as the side. Using a scissor I widened the side hole so that our wall can go inside. When the hole got big enough I trimmed the plastic to make the hole clean. Now I took a wall without the rubber sleeve and inserted it in the front hole from inside of the syringe. Then I took another valve and inserted it inside the syringe from the side hole. Then I took epoxy putty, mixed the two regions and applied the epoxy over the joints to completely seal the joints. I also filled some epoxy putty inside the nozzle of the syringe to seal it. The tube does not fit on the valve so I cut the valve a little bit and then our tube fits perfectly on the valve. For safety reasons I am placing a plastic ring inside the pump so that when we push the plunger it does not hit the side valve. In this way this increases its life. As you can see it fits nicely inside the pump protecting the wall. Now I left it to dry for a the day. The next day I took the pump and put the rubber sleeve on the front wall. And then I put back the plunger and our vacuum pump is ready. Now to check its suction power I will apply tube to it. Now over here I have taken some water to which a small amount of fluorescein is added in a filtration flask. Then I took a graduated test tube and placed it inside the flask in an inverted position and closed the upper neck with a cork. Then I attached the rubber tube to the filtration flask and started putting vacuum as best as I could. When I was unable to pull the pump, I released the vacuum inside the flask. On releasing the vacuum, the water in the test tube rose up to 13 ml. Therefore, the pressure inside the flask was 0.44 atmospheres or 340 mm of Hg. I upload videos every Tuesday, so subscribe to my channel. If you like my work, you can support me financially through Patreon and PayPal. Links are given in description.